I log in as me and do a new. Welcome to Forza Motorsport 5. Cars. To some, they're just transport. A convenient alternative to highly flammable dirigibles or walking. But you, you understand, cars are far more than this. They are our history. They mark the moments by which we define decades. Cars are some of the most intoxicating, most beautiful things ever forged by mankind. They represent the glory of technology, the essence of freedom, and have been the weapons in some of our most gripping sporting battles. They grip us, they cheer us on, they hold us up as heroes. So this is about the love of all things four-wheeled and fast. This is a shrine to power, to speed, to metal made beautiful. This is where dreams are driven. Welcome to Forza. Now is your chance to explore the McLaren P1 up close. Open the door. Look around. Take a look around. Start the car to begin the race.
I'm drunk, I'm sorry! <laughs> Definitely. I did damage. That race was only a taste of the journey ahead of you. <laughs> As we continue, you will traverse. Like what the fuck did you do to the car? It was only an exhibition. <laughs> old rivalries and new technology. Leagues are home to a wide variety of cars, from vintage to sport to grand touring. Your career starts with the Modern Sport Compact Championship Series. But before you choose your car, let's learn more about the group from BBC's Top Gear. When, in 2012, Mr. Toyota and Mrs. Subaru announced the arrival of their twins, GT86 and BRZ, the world rejoiced. Here were two cars designed not to save the planet, nor to take your entire extended family to the seaside in a modular lounge environment. No, they were designed to make you smile. They were small, lightweight, skinny tired, rear drive and affordable. This was the beginning of a new age for sporty motoring. Only it wasn't. If you looked hard enough, there have always been affordable cars designed to brighten up your day. Mazda especially is always provided for the enthusiastic driver. That's why it made the simple, wonderful MX-5 and the RX-8. The Honda S2000, meanwhile, is a complete screamer, and it's possible the same applies to the Hyundai Genesis. But I'm not sure, as it's only sold in Korea and the United States. Select your first car from this list and begin your career. This car will take you through some of the best racing in the world, so choose the car that speaks to you. Holy fuck. Really? That would look fucking nuts wrong. <laughs> this 
This is your 2010 Volkswagen Golf R. This is your career home space. Come back here to access Forza Vista and customize your cars. Your first career takes you on a journey to five of the world's great racing venues. Today, we venture to the snow-capped mountains of the Bernese Alps in Switzerland. There are no AI drivers. Using Drivatar technology, you are always racing against real people with their real tendencies, delivered from the cloud. <laughs> I'm breaking. How'd she break? Why do you keep breaking for me? That's not what I wanted to do! Oof. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm a golf. <laughs> <laughs> like, sure you're in. <laughs> like, uh huh. <laughs> you know this wasn't for points, right? <laughs> Every time you race, you win credits and XP. Credits help you buy new cars and upgrades. It now costs you thousand credits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every time your driver level increases, you are rewarded with bonus credits. Drivatar is collecting data on how you race, how you pass, and how you hit each apex. After a few <laughs> races, your Drivatar will be ready to go out into the community and race on your behalf. <clears throat> Press wide a level. Uh, if you poke it. Of like an hourly. Today we travel to Dunsfold, England, home of the hit TV show Top Gear and their famous Top Gear test Where's track. Welcome to London, one of the greatest cities on earth, where millions of tourists flock every year. Using advanced modeling techniques and a large airfield in Surrey, we have constructed this perfectly accurate recreation of driving in England's historical capital. Construction signs, closed road lanes, rubbish bins, you'll have to avoid all these traditional London milestones in the Top Gear London Simulation Challenge.
First, second, third, down to seven. Uh, didn't hurt the car that bad this time. Oh. Every time you level your car's manufacturer affinity level, you increase that manufacturer's payout bonus. Each race you run in that brand of car earns you bonus credits based on its affinity level. Your Drivatar has collected some data, but further races are required before it's ready to represent you on the track. <laughs> 